Are you prepared for Christmas? I hope yes. And if not, I've got you. Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. We are the Master Educator. We organize, learn and grow. And today's video, I'm going to show you five things you need to do before the 1st of December so that you can make your Christmas period nice and stress-free. First thing that you need to do, number one, you need to make a Christmas budget. Now, I know Christmas is a stressful time for most of, people, of the people, especially this particular year because the cost of living is so high. So one of the things that I ask when you're making your Christmas budget, consider how many people that you're hosting. If you eat Christmas as a whole family, consider how many people are in your family and who is going to appear on that day. When you have collected all the people who are going to attend for your Christmas, you need to come up with a budget, all of you together, just as a family. Don't do that alone because everyone needs to be involved with it to reduce the amount of cost that is there. And if you want to, especially if money is tight, it's good to involve everyone so that everyone can contribute towards that Christmas. So when you come together as a family, come up with the amount of money that each person can be able to contribute. I know some people can be able to contribute more than others, but because you are family, you are able to talk and understand each other and see who is able to give more, who is able to give less, and then contribute that money. When you come up with a budget, for example, this is a nice Christmas budget that we've had. We've been really using this budget for over the years because most of the time we know who is going to appear in our house for Christmas. And each person contributes a certain amount of money every single month. So by the time it comes to December, then we know we have enough money for the pocket to share out on those three days of Christmas. So if you don't have that money like you've kept throughout the year, do not worry because one thing you can do is get your family together, explain we're going to eat Christmas together. However, we need each and every person to chip in. So when you have decided on a budget, you need to write down on your budget there should be each amount for whatever use. What I mean by that is exactly if you're buying Christmas present, allocate money for your Christmas present. If you're buying however many kids you're buying for, name the kids, allocate a budget for each kid. Let the kids do their Christmas wish list and then you can make sure all their wish list fits in into the budget. Allocate money for the essential, electricity, water bills, the food, any miscellaneous that may come up during that Christmas period. Make sure every expense is accountable for with the amount of money you have on that budget. So that is one of the things that you need to have. So if you don't have one and you want an idea on how to do it, just comment down below and we can help you with that. The second thing that you need to do is have a Christmas menu. I know you, instead of you going to shop and you don't know what you need to shop for, it's just easier if you have a Christmas menu which your whole family has agreed to. So for example, we budgeted about 800 pounds for the three days of Christmas. So we normally spend 24th, 25th and 26th. And when we've allocated this amount of money, we've written every single thing that is gonna be used within that three days. So for example, on the 24th, we decided as a family, we're gonna have rice and salmon and broccoli for dinner. On the 25th, we decided ugali. For those who don't know what ugali is, that is maize, which is pounded to a flour and it kind of looks like mashed potato and with meat and spinach. So it will be a beef stew or lamb stew and spinach. And then on the 26th, we are going to do a mash and chicken stew. So as you can see, I've allocated each of the days and we know whatever we need to do. On the bottom, I've written a list of what we need to buy on the shop. Like salmon, cooking oil, every single thing that we're going to use during those three days is written on the list. If it's not on the list, then it's not getting to be bought on that day. So make sure you have a Christmas menu. This will reduce the amount of wastage you have as a family. It will make sure as well that your money is accountable for and it will also make sure that you save money as well. That's the most important thing of having a Christmas menu. The next thing that you need to have done before the first of December, the third thing, make sure you send your Christmas cards. It's so important because as you know, postage really stay for so long during Christmas period. 
so the sooner you get those cards out the better for you so if you're sending any cards far away to your family and friends or far away relatives make sure that they are out by before the end week of christmas latest they should have gone out is the last day of november so that it makes sure that they get there on time not only that if you have any gifts that you're sending away if you know you're not gonna meet them face to face please make sure you send them as early as you can because the earlier you send them it ensures that they get them on time the fourth thing that you need to have held is a christmas calendar as you know for the children they do it's excitement for them and they just need something to keep them busy throughout those 24 days before the christmas day so make sure you've already bought your christmas calendar and it's nice and ready and if you're making one yourself make sure you bought all the stuff that you need to make for your own so that's the fourth thing that you need to do and the one and last thing is the christmas tree so number five you need to have checked on your christmas tree to make sure that it's still in a good condition because you don't want to come and it's the first of december or whatever time you put it and you find that you don't have your christmas tree or christmas decoration i hope you really enjoyed our video today and this helps you to, to get ready for christmas and reduce the amount of stress that comes with it as i said those are the five things that you need to do to make sure that you have a nice December period. Until next time, keep organizing, keep preparing. Thank you.